Christian. All the talk in women's tennis last really year has been on the, the young ones. Yep. And here we are. A 30 year old, a 29 year old. Should have suited up. <laughs> That's pushing it. I mean, it really is amazing. But grass is probably a surface that favors the veterans. Definitely grass favors the veteran. Uh, knowing how to play on it, knowing how the, the game can turn so quickly on grass. You know, you don't have five minutes to sort of go off and think about it like you do on clay. And the veterans can adjust to that because they've done it so many times coming from clay to grass over the years, you know, that window's very short. So it's, it's fabulous to see the, the veterans doing it in. It's great. I mean, these two players have a lot of character and they have a lot of history. And it's sort of like now or never for both of them. Not that they'll, neither of them will reach a final, but I, I mean, I can see Novotna reaching a final again at Wimbledon, but I can't see Tozia reaching a final, but it's important for Tozia not to be just very happy to be in the final. I mean, you know, the big question is, can she, does she really want it? Does she hungry for it? You know, I, I think she is. Oh! I am a fighter, I'm going to fight until the last ball. And if she win, if I play well and if she wins, she's better than me, she deserves it. And if Wimbledon final, certainly not disgraced. And overcome with the emotion of it all which I'm sure is the reason she lost after being 4-1 ahead in the final set. First of all, everybody chokes in tennis. I mean, you know, she had that tag on her that she was a choker, but I mean, every... And here they come. I think it's such a nice tradition here at Wimbledon that the two ladies finalists are presented with those lovely bouquets. And Virginia, what was it like when you went into the locker room that day in 1977 and saw your name on this lovely, lovely bouquet of flowers? Well, you, you know, you just can't believe it's true and you just don't want to ruin it because you know it's, an, it's such an opportunity. And I'm sure that both of these players realize that being late in their careers as well. It's, it's, in some ways, it has quite a lot of resemblance to the 77 situation because uh, it was Chris Everett who was the overwhelming number one in the world that year, and I beat her in the semi-final as Novotna beat Hingis here in the semi-final. And then the other people, Navratilova was taken out by Betty Stover, so it was a match that I knew I could win. And it's sort of fortuitous, for, I think, for Yana, that it worked that, out that way for her too, that she had the number one seed in the semi-final. She certainly played an absolutely brilliant match, but she's been playing so well. You know, she's on a streak of 10 matches, straight wins on grass, and she's only lost one set in all those matches. In Eastbourne, she won it without losing a set, and she we were just worried that she might peak too early. She was playing so well. So we'll just watch the spin being conducted. Jane Harvey just uh, out behind Alan Mills there. There she is. It's been done. She'll tell us in a minute who won the toss. And then she'll get out of the way while the photographers at court side by the umpire to have their fill. Here we are. That's the shot they're getting. It'll be in all the morning papers tomorrow and some at the other side of the court taking their shots now and the lady that Virginia Wade beat in that final in 1977 Betty Stover of Holland and there's a lovely sort of line through to Novotny here because she was the coach of Hannah Mandlikova if we pan left we'll see Hannah in the corner there just coming up, there's Hannah Mandlikova, who now, of course, is the coach of Jana Novotna. So there's a symmetry today about affairs, suggesting that this lady is probably going to have a, the finger of destiny on her shoulder, but we'll see. It doesn't always work out like that. And as I say, the strange irony of it being her third final, and we always say the lucky third time, but it's also her 13th year at Wimbledon. 
And I know for some people, the 13th is a lucky. Czechoslovakia, as it was then, living now in Antwerp and 29 years of age and still playing as well as ever in probably, probably better than ever. Number three in the world and seeded three here. She was two this time last year, just after reaching the final here then. And so far has not been able to add to the string of titles she's run, won around the world, 20 in singles, 70 in doubles. She hasn't yet claimed a Grand Slam, so this must be her finest chance. Well, Virginia, she's been particularly impressive on her way to this final, as you've said, just that one little lapse, but finishing it off well against Panova in the second round. And in beating Williams and Hingis so convincingly, I think she's warned everybody that this is going to be her year in her own mind. Well, but it has been in January this year as high as number 10. But as you'll see there, the best she's done at any of the Grand Slams is to reach a quarter-final. And so this, for her, is a, an enormous moment and a great test of her considerable skills. And she's played particularly well also on her way to this um, final. If we look at these results here, she's had to play some hard matches against fellow Frenchwoman Alain Le Cougy. It means that you're going to be trailing, so I don't know. I would say psychologically you should say you're going to serve first. So it'll be the number 16 to seed to serve first. Well, it's nice to have a clean volley early on. Thirty. Surprisingly, both uh, still rather tense. Advantage, Miss Tosia. First 
So Tosia doing well there. One break point against her saved. A little to our nerves, a lot of good. We haven't talked about nerves, but you'll remember that 1973 uh, rather final against Graf when Novotna had a 4-1 lead in the point for 5-1 on the final set and froze on the lead. Will they both be able to overcome nerves today? We're going to have so many different phases in this match. You get the opening uh, couple of games, uh, which you're very tense and you get tired easily because your breathing is tense as well and you just uh, are not loosened up. And then you sort of get into a rhythm. Then as it gets closer to uh, an important stage towards the end, totally a different set of nerves comes into play. Basically, you have to accept that Time. you're going to be nervous, and what you have to do is learn how to counteract that. Miss Novotna to serve. It was a good game for Tosia, the opening one. Perhaps it's because Tozia is coming into this match not feeling as if the pressure is on her that she's playing a little bit more freely. Good reach. Navonna really wants to make this game as long as she can possibly make it to get herself into the match. Footy. to Novotna pulling back from Love 40 to Deuce with some really nice feel on the volley. Oh. Oh. Advantage Miss Tozia. Leads two games to love. What a magnificent shot from Natalie Tozier. This 
it wasn't quite up, very nearly up, but Natalie actually did the right thing and she made sure she hit the volley back into court. Natalie Tozio off to a good start here. Sharp contrast to a match against Vareva. Once Nambotna starts handling the second serve, that effectively she'll be much more difficult. Fifteen all. Well, the look said it all, I think, but if we look at it from that end, I think it did clip. struggling within herself to find relaxation. Yes, Novanta doing well to keep that ball low. Such a difficult pass that to attempt. surprised that Tozia didn't follow a serve in there. It was game point to her. She allowed the net to be taken from her. Advantage, Miss Novotna. It's a real chance to Get back on even terms. Ms. Tozia leads two games to one first set. And in the box, of course, working for our colleagues in NBC is Chris Everett, former champion here, former world number one. She knows what uh, they're going through there, as you do, Virginia. And if we look now, at the statistics of their matches on the way to this final, I think there's some quite interesting comparisons there. If you start at the bottom there, the speed of the serving and the average first serve, roughly the same. 
break points, one very similar, but a little more emphasis there on the net points one from Tosia. And a slightly higher return of serve from Novotna. You see Tosia goes for her serve, and you can see that she got more aces, almost twice as many as Novotna, but also because she goes for it, she didn't get as many first serves, and then actually 43 is a rather dismal tally. On the other hand, she started to serve really well in the third set against Natasha Zvereva. <laughs> Familiar face there. Familiar voice. We're always hearing Betty Boothroyd. Love 15. She sort of slaps at the forehand. It's quite a, a flat shot. Bunch of good shots. The return was so good, it was low, and that volley was so good, only to be beaten by a really superb shot. Miss Novotna. Two games over. There we are, the two mums there enjoying the tennis here in the box. What a moment here. There's Natalie's mum, Regine. The back there, back row, is uh, Jana's mum, Libusha. From the other side, 
Look at Novotna's forehand. She stays down so low with it. She has the best knee bend. Every now and then, Tozia catches the top of the ball on the forehand. As I said, she tends to slap her wrist at it a little bit, and sometimes it just goes over too quickly. Is that you? Just rushed it a little bit. Forty thirty. such an incredible athlete and she's probably one of the fittest players Jeez. on the tour she just gets there so easily and controls the ball at the same time She handles this well. That is not an easy shot. Make sure she <laughs> looks at it. And Yana did so well to get the previous shot back. Game is Tozia. Tozia leads three games to two, first set. There are signs now that they're both beginning to relax a little bit. You can always tell by the way people move whether they're beginning to relax. And certainly, Jan and Novotna made some very good runs there in the course of the last couple of games. And John, optimally, you would like to have some long rallies early on in the match, just precisely to get you limbered up and to get rid of your nerves. It's interesting because Tozia has been serving well so far. I mean, not all that many first serves, it's only 54%. But she's being smart because she knows that if she serves the second serve to the backhand, even if it's a good deep second serve, Jana is going to attack that backhand and d hit a slice, chip and charge and be all over the net. So she's basically hitting her second serves to Jana's forehand, trying to eliminate that. Very close this match so Time. far. Both players are actually, I think, playing very well, considering it's a, there's so much riding on it. <laughs> Novotna hasn't quite relaxed on her serve yet. With this high toss, she sometimes gets a little stuck not going up after it, but I'm sure she will loosen up. Two, three, first set.
Oh, backhand. Look how deep this ball is. It's just inside the baseline. You'd think that Novotna had the whole net covered. She found a little place. Well, that was exactly the right thing to do. She'd spotted how short the serve was, but just smothered the attempted approach. Forty fifteen. She never compromises on that backhand return, always going for the full flat return. She's going to make some errors with that. Okay, Miss Novotna. Three games all. Well, the surprise due to the bounce there being on the edge of the line. I think from where she was standing, it probably looked beyond it, but I think that was uh, I think that was all right. So three all. Let Fisser. second serve was at her forehand, so she had to be a little bit more cautious playing that and coming in, but what a superb volley. Keeps the head of the racket up and hangs on to it. She's not following her second serve in. Tozia is going to be suffering the chip and charge from Novotna every time it's short enough. Love footy. What a difference a first serve makes. Still far too low, really, for comfort, but it's what's been happening throughout these championships. Let's first serve. to Natalie Tozier. She had to make a very difficult volley. She was running backwards to get this and she pulled off. What a great lob she pulled off. Saved two break points.
advantage, Miss Novotny. Gets around and hits a big forehand, and it's much harder to read. And that's earned her her fourth break point. Exactly. Oh, that was a saucy shot. Just Jeez. an incredible first volley. This look how far back she still is because the return is way down at her feet. Just tickles it over the net. Out. Goes out. You go straight away. You didn't go straight away this ball. No, 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 no. I'm not done. Who is the umpire here? She's the umpire. You are the umpire. No, 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 no. Advantage, Miss Naval. Well, you can understand her surprise because she thought she'd hit a winning volley. The lines person called it good. The umpire overruled, and she did it immediately. Yes, well played. Well, she's done well to save six break points. Love 40, remember, at one stage. Allowed to get to the net first again. happy camper that call on the baseline is still in her mind still worrying her that Jane Harvey should have overruled well Virginia let's have a look again at that point and see where it bounced when she actually hit the volley I thought this volley was probably going to just float out so I wasn't surprised when the call came of out but oh I think that might but <laughs> I think that looks so uh, certainly closer to being in than out and, and well, it, it's never makes uh, you very happy when your opponent sticks a finger out and tries to make the call and of course it was not a clear error no. I mean the umpire is only supposed to rule overrule Time. on a clear error when the ball is inches out mm -hmm. and if if it was out and the linesman thought it was good um, <laughs> it was only by a tiny margin that's right that was bound to be a difficult game. It's always that last game with the old balls when you've got a better chance to to win it. Francois Dürer there and Natalie's 
agent. But it's uh, Jana Novotna with the lead and with new balls. She had to make an exceptionally good volley there from a very difficult position. It's not coming that easily to Jana right now. thing to me is though that Novotna is attempting still and correctly in my opinion to play a serve and volley game and so far Tozia has been rather reluctant to follow her serves in because she served quite a few faults on first serve and doesn't want to follow the second one in but I think she'll have to That's a good illustration of it there. She had to play a very difficult shot from an opponent who had followed a second serve in and found a super half volley. Five games to three. Five games to three. And uh, the way things are going, I think um, Tozia here will have to start thinking seriously about coming in a little more behind our serves. Just as you say, John, it's just too difficult with Jana coming in and with the wide reach that she has and when she's so good on the lunge volleys. Tozzi will have to come in more. Thirty fifteen. Well, there it was. When the first ball goes in, yes, she will follow it in. She's getting in more now in this match than she's done in any previous match. 55 it is now, 56.
Five games to four, first set. Well, we always thought, Virginia, it would be about uh, serving and service returning. I mean, by uh, definition, if serving is the most important area of the game, then the one who returns best, we're always saying this about the men's matches, it's the same here. Well, you can see just by this very good stat that Novotna is pretty even when she hits her first or second serve in how many points she wins. but. Tosias goes down dramatically when she misses her first serve. So, all right, her first serve percentage is almost at 60%, Tosia, but she hasn't been hitting first serves necessarily at the right moment because, and as we look at it, let's just uh, see why it's vulnerable. I always think that everything is all right here. The ball is, the toss is quite low, but she just Time. pulls in her hip and her shoulder a little bit early so that she's really square on to the net when she's actually making contact. And what that does is take away the margin of error. What it does do is it gives you a hard flat serve. But as we know in tennis, the spin gives you more margin for error. So the first little interesting point of this match, serving for the first set. So versatile at the net. That wasn't a bad lob, and it's over the backhand side. It handled very competently. Please, no flash photography, thank you. Wonderful athleticism at the net. The sort of diving volleys that she's so famous for. Two set points. Game, first set, Miss Novotna. Six games to four. So Betty Stover there getting quite excited about the capture of that opening set after just 43 minutes of play. Second set, Miss Tozia to serve. And we'll see now if Tozia can respond to the challenge. to me is going to be whether she will have the courage to come in behind second serves.
Justino. Only a second today. But she wasn't trying to follow it in. to understand that her second serve's coming on the forehand, so she's hitting beautiful forehands, and that's enabling her to get into the net. And yet again, the stretch volley. No reply to that. Wonderful tennis. Well, it's putting an awful lot of pressure on your own passing shots. If you're going to stay back all the time, allow your opponent to chip and charge. Especially when Novotna does it so well. is clear if you're not going to follow your serve in on the second serve you've got to get many more first balls in juice She's trying to do it the hard way. First game, second set. First set, Miss Novotna. Well, Virginia, it seems to me is playing right into Novotna's hands here. I think you're absolutely right because everybody knows there's no mystery about what Novotna likes to do best. She has such a terrific approach shot and now she's beginning to freewheel a bit too. The whole of the first set she was struggling. She was playing somebody who was hitting the ball maybe even a little more freely than she was but she still managed to turn it around, get one break, which was all she needed. And now she's got the confidence behind her. And really for, for Novartna, with her record here, it's really imperative for her to stay very up, as you, you can see how pumped up she was at that, and to keep herself pumped up and keep herself bribing, keep on bribing herself to win one more game, one more game, so that she time. gets and cleans the set right out so she doesn't have time to get nervous. She's uh, played very well at the net, Novotna. 15 winners. Been up at the net a lot, as we knew she would be. Her serve could be better, but maybe she's a little more confident now it will get better, because it's only been 50% hers too. One love, second set. Love. 
love 15. Yeah. Jana doesn't want to be worrying about her own serve. Oh dear, oh dear. Rather an exaggerated double total miss hit, of course. I hope she's not going to choke on this lead, as slender as it is. One break in the second. one today football called just what she doesn't need so very you... determined forehand this it would have been even better if it hadn't touched the tape time in this service game that she's been able to take the net away from the server. Giving the Votner a bit of her own medicine. Advantage, Miss Tozia. Flex volley there. Just saved her. Oh. Advantage, Miss Novotna. It was a super first volley, though. It looked as if Tozia had a chance on that, but she didn't have much. Juice. Great connection on the ball. Hits it early. Just firm wrist and blocking it down. Advantage, Miss Novotna. Okay, Miss Novotna. Miss 
Novotna leads two games to love. And Novotna's relentless aggression paying off. Fifteen on. So one each in the football department. Thirty fifty. Often how well he just she just <laughs> querying how it was that she could be called a football, but there's the official that called it. But so often the occasion produces this sort of happening because you, you just want to get that bit closer and that bit further to the net. sleep that you she's practiced it so much coming in on the return and then just camping out on the net Forty thirty. I don't think there's much doubt about this the linesman couldn't see and signaled as much. The game is totally up. This is what the lead, two games to one, second set, and by one set to love. So at least getting her name on the scoreboard in this second set, Tozia. But tactically, the, the way she's trying to play, I can't see how it's going to succeed. Just have to understand that they're going to chip, so the ball's going to be lower, and you have to take it around the service line and angle it away. Novotna, just with this high toss on her serve, she just leaves a lot to, that can go wrong. Just lovely volleys. No backswing. She just blocked it. Everything was right. Thirty low. To see the serve on her forehand and that she's got a lofted ball there that she intercepted. Forty Let Fessel. Forty 
40-30. Well, even the threat of an approach to the net by your opponent sometimes forces the error. Good recovery there. The first volley was awfully good, but it hit the tape. And now she has to dive, but that she can do. She's sort of relieved. Fifteen love at one three. Well, staying back again. And it's been an all too familiar pattern, not following in a second serve, allowing a speedy opponent to play the chip charge and forcing the error. Thirty fifty. Well, Yana's missed a couple of forehand returns this game on second serves, but she knows that Tosia is giving her mostly the second serve on the forehand. Ma'am, and it's <laughs> taken her a long time to get to this position, hasn't it? A late bloomer. With a break in the second set, having won the first, 3-2. Love 15. That ball just seemed to pop up in front of her. She's got to remember, though, to be very aggressive on her serve. Her last service game, she didn't go in behind everyone herself. This flattish forehand, but she stays down so well. She hit it early. Three break points. Fifteen foot. Game 
Okay, Ms. Tozio. Ball change, please. New balls. Change of balls. Three games. Second change, and uh, that seventh double fault could be very costly. And uh, certainly the second set performance of Novotny hasn't been as secure as the first. She served three double faults in the second game of this set, though she held then. And let's hope that she's going to keep good uh, control of her nerves and stay relaxed. Surprise, surprise. Yana at the net. Toes is doing some flashy shots here. This one, a good recovery, but here's she comes charging up, and that's a difficult shot to hit. Let's first. Look. she do that on her second serves as well, she might not be in this predicament, having lost the opening set. She hasn't made too many errors on those first volleys. Didn't miss by far. It's break point. Four games to three, second set, and by one set to love. So two breaks in a row. 4-3 with a break. Just wondering whether that ball wasn't going out that Tozia hit. She was so far back in the court and it was a high volley.
Forty Lund. Let Fisser. Natalie wonders why she couldn't have come up with a couple of these shots earlier in the game. Very good control of the racket face on that almost half volley, using the wrist to whip the ball through with top spin, dipping it in. Games to three. So Jan and Novotna just four points away now from a first Grand Slam title. What a moment for her. Thank you. Let Fusser. Fifteen. Great return from Novotna. Wouldn't she love to wrap this match up here so that she doesn't have to serve for it? Good control on that short ball. It would have been easy in the circumstances of the score to have fluffed that. Cool. Forty thirty. and accept that she might be a tiny bit nervous and 
and stay aggressive. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Players are ready. Thank you. You have to keep thinking. 5-4, second set. Oh, a late call. She'll hate that. She wouldn't, have, she wouldn't have minded if the call had been at once, been immediate. So here is a very big test for Novotna. Fifteen thirty. I'm surprised that Tozia didn't attempt a chip and charge. like a horrible dream. Sometimes those volleys that look easier when you're nervous are the worst because you've got too much time. Advantage Miss Tozia. Didn't follow a serve in that last point. Let first. Thirty down. And a change has come over this match in the last couple of games. Tozia is now very much more positive and has started to believe in herself. Thirty fifty. Well, I think it might have just touched the the back of the line. 
It's the furthest distance from the linesman. Well, that certainly did look to be ooh, on the very, very back edge, if at all. A little bit unlucky, perhaps. She thinks so, anyway. 40 50. Down, but not out. 30 low. And the question was, did she hit a ball that was going out? She seemed to be very far into the tram line. Fine fight back here from Tozia, who's maintaining the momentum beautifully. Expensive backhand miss for her of the tournament. So we're about to enjoy a game of Russian roulette. The best of times, tie breaks, chancy matters. Thank you, Qua, please. One zero, Miss Tozia.
certainly one of the most beautifully executed rallies from both girls in the entire match so far. At full stretch, controlling the ball beautifully. Let Fissel. Well, it was a good return of serve, testing height, that one of the most difficult shots she tried. Acutely angled uh, volley, perhaps a little unwise in the circumstances. First mini break, 3-2. She knew she had that one. The ball maybe didn't come. 5-2. Miss Neville. She does best, chipping and charging, volleying, and producing four championship points. Faults. She's done it. Just like Pat Cash did after his emotional win, an even more emotional success for Jana Novotna, who after all has kept her date with destiny. A hug from Hannah. They've suffered so much in the past, and Mum must be absolutely overjoyed to be here to enjoy the moment with Jana. And all the years of waiting are over. At last, a lifetime's ambition has been achieved. Well, I wonder if she's going to find it easier to get down again. Yes, someone as athletic as Yana will have no problems. And what a... Nice moment for the members of the public there as Yana passes close by them. And all those years of waiting are over. And all the years of hard work amply rewarded at last. And a word, I think, I'm sure we'll have the customary word or two with some of the ball boys and the ball girls, all from local schools and trained assiduously by Wally Wanfer. 
And they worked all through the winter on the covered courts of the club here, training for these moments when they'll be out here at Wimbledon. So time for consolation for Natalie Tozier, who decides that Silver Salva will receive the runners-up check for £195,750. It might be third time lucky, and it was. And at last she'll be able to hold aloft this famous trophy, which so many great champions have held aloft before her. Including, of course, the great Czech predecessor, Martina Navratilova. Mother and daughter sharing the moment together. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, the chair umpire, Mrs. Jane Harvey. And this is always a nice tradition where the chair umpire receives a memento. Jane Tabor, as she was before she was married, from Somerset. And now, for the photographers first, thronging the court there. And I think that smile will remain on the face for the rest of the afternoon. Well, we all wondered whether she would have the nerve to do it after the failure against Steffi Graf, but she proved it this time, and after the little stutter in the tenth game, closing out in the tie break beautifully. Just one more. <laughs> A little kiss for the trophy. That'll make a nice shot in tomorrow's papers. Yeah, she's saying it's mine now. You know, <laughs> last year she she pinched the trophy for a minute or two from Martina Hingis, and this time it's all hers. Nobody's going to take it away from her, at least while she's on here. And she'll never be the same again, you know. Now that she's won it, it will be just not only such a thrill, but also quite a relief. She was always the person who could have won this tournament, always considered the best grass court player in the last few years. And incidentally, we'll be out later today with Miss Hingis as the number one double seeds. They'll be playing Raymond and Stubbs in the semi-final. And what a difference walking around holding this trophy aloft. Five years ago, she was crying on the Duchess's shoulder, wondering if this would ever happen. And I have to say, Virginia, this welcome from the crowd tells you what the British public feel about this great Czech athlete. They have really learned to appreciate her. She's a super person. She's not big-headed in the slightest. She'll always talk to whomever signs autographs, handles herself wonderfully well. Very, very gracious. And the fact that along with this trophy goes a check for £391,500 is really totally irrelevant today nothing to do with money, it's all about achieving a lifelong ambition.
And I think she's done so well to choke back the tears that must be welling up inside at the joy of the moment. <laughs> I think she probably wants this moment to go on forever. And let's not forget Natalie, who contributed greatly to the occasion. And incidentally, she's going back to number 10 in the world on Monday, the highest she's ever been in the rankings. So that at least will be some consolation for her. back in the royal box just waiting for the players to leave the court and I'm sure there'll be a lot of waving and cheering going on as they go touch on the way out just stopping to enjoy the moment with the fans at court side so that has been an immense moment so the actual details 6476 was the score and the time, an hour and 34 minutes. But today, it was all about a player with ambition fulfilling it at last. The emotions we've seen in the last 10 minutes, we all share, and Pam Shriver, we've seen clearly what the centre court crowd think. How will that victory be greeted by her fellow professionals? Oh, nothing against Natalie Tosia, but I, I think virtually 100% of the players and wanted Yana to win the match. Uh, everyone, especially, I mean, I was in the top 10 for 10 years and, and kind of knocked on the door, never was able to break through and win. And at age 29, it's to come through and win your first one, it's, mm. it's really outstanding because actually the longer you play and the more opportunities you've let slip, the more the nerves can come into play. And I thought, given the tightness of the match, I mean, Novotna was never totally relaxed. She really held it together. She lost it for moments. She really had to confront the demons once again oh, uh, on she, the brink of victory, yeah. didn't she? When she served for it and it got mm. back to Deuce, she was down 15-40, got it back to Deuce and missed a horrendous forehand uh, in halfway up the net, hit one double fault early in the second set about, you know, 15 feet long, missed a couple of forehand volleys when she served for the match, the championship, mm. Mm. and again, the demons, as you mentioned, I mean, it is incredible what the mind can, how sick it can make you feel. Did you fear for her at that point? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I, I just, um, you know, it's amazing the vicarious uh, nervousness that you can feel. I mean, I haven't played on the tour now for a year and a half, but I, I can remember playing matches, certainly not as big as this occasion, where, you know, you're just so tied up. But again, she was able to just get through it enough to, to play enough big points, and it was always going to be the hardest win of her life. Quick word about Natalie. Tells you at a great battle she put up might well be her last chance we'll talk about her in a minute let's hear from her she's uh, down there talking with Sue Barker right now yes here with uh, Natalie bad luck but uh, 
tough match, really. Yeah, yeah, she played pretty well in a good moment, and she served good in a good moment. But uh, I think I have a little bit my chance, maybe in the first set, mm -hmm. and I didn't make it. And um, she played well. I mean, I think we made a very good match, both of us, and we was very aggressive. She, I mean, uh, my I didn't serve pretty well, so I let her come in mm -hmm. on my second serve, and I think that's made a difference. But you broke back in that second set. Do you think that? May have been a turning point. Yeah, maybe, and uh, I didn't play enough aggressive, I think, at 6-5, and uh, that's it. I mean, uh, you, when you are against Siena, you have to be really aggressive, and uh, maybe I wasn't enough. What will you remember from this Wimbledon well, final? Well, that's uh, one of the best days of my life so far, and I hope I'm going to do another one next year and uh, play like I played this year. I mean, I enjoyed all the two weeks, and uh, I'm very happy what I've done. I have nothing to regret, and that was a good tournament. Great. Thanks very much, Tom. Thank, Thank you. Send to court, Yana. You were just telling me what a difficult match that was. Yes, absolutely. So, I mean, coming into this match, I knew how difficult this is going to be because I know Natalie Toziad very well, and my record against her, believe me, is not that great. So I knew she's going to be very tough to beat. And uh, I'm sure that today's match, it didn't bring the best out of us. I mean, uh, we both felt quite a lot of pressure, and we both mm. wanted to win really so much. And uh, my God, thanks God, I was a little bit more aggressive. I was good at the net. My serve wasn't good at all today. But nevertheless, I'm just so pleased that I won this championship after all. What was going through your mind when you'd served for it and lost the serve? Well, you know what, the, the whole match, I mean, from the, be from the beginning till the end, I was struggling with my serve. I wasn't putting any first serves in. I mean, and Natalie was just all over me. So uh, I felt so much pressure on my second serves that I knew that she will come in. She will be the one who's going to be aggressive. And then that's So in a way, it didn't really surprise me because I guess at that time I still wasn't ready. Missed that easy volley first one. Pretty close call, but whatever happened, I don't really remember much. But nevertheless, I stayed aggressive. I stayed mm. positive. I really wanted to win and I think I really wanted to win just a little bit more than Natalie. And you're talking very quickly now, it's only yeah, emotional. Yes. <laughs> I know, it is. It is just Emotional, emotional. isn't it? It is just very emotional, it is. I'm surprised you've taken, let that trophy go. I thought you were going to keep your hands on it for a long time. <laughs> well, they told me I have to give it back, so, <laughs> so that's why I gave it up, but I'm running after it. Yeah. <laughs> and just before us, I, I know you just met the Duchess on the stairs as well. well yeah, that's a relationship that goes a long <laughs> way back. Well, she said that uh, she was right last year. She told me it's her time. Lucky, look what happened this year. I have made it. And uh, she was just very pleased and she was just very happy for me that I have finally won this championship. And just sum up what, what happened when you won that final point. What were you feeling? I don't even remember. When I <laughs> sat down on the chair, I had to ask Alan Mills, Alan, what did I do on that match point? <laughs> really, because there was like you are in a zone. And as soon as it's finished, I mean, you just let go. And uh, I was just so pleased. My mom came yesterday and uh, was very happy that she was part of this team. Yeah. And what, and you, you know, your mum, you talk about everyone. I mean, great support mm -hmm. there. Unbelievable support, yes. First of all, uh, I wanted to take this opportunity anyway to dedicate this Wimbledon trophy to my coach, Hannah Mandlikova. For mm -hmm. some number of years, she has the, just simply made me a better player. And without her, there's no way I would make this championship. So what are you going to do next? You've got a doubles, haven't you? I have a doubles, <laughs> but I don't really care. I'm just going <laughs> to say hi to everybody. I have a wonderful team of supporters and people who are working with me. And uh, I'm just going to say hi to everybody and uh, just enjoy it. Enjoy every single moment of this. You do that. Well done. Thank you. Dedicating the victory there to Hannah Mandlikova. Describe the part that she's played. Well, you know, your coach and such a close confidant. Uh, and Hannah Mandlikova would have been through so many tough times. You know, you think about the final five years ago, it's really up to the coach to try and dig the player out of that kind of situation where you're mentally, really, you can be depressed for months about it. I thought Hannah did a great job keeping Yana, you know, even keel after that. And also, Hannah got through to the finals here, lost to Chrissy, and Hannah never uh, won Wimbledon. She won the U.S. Open, and so I think probably that was a little bit in uh, Yana's mind as well. But, you know, it's interesting when Yana said, I'm, I just want to enjoy every single minute. And I think that's true. You just want to soak it up and store it in your memory bank because uh, these things just, you know, they don't happen that often. And you just want to hold on to them forever and ever. She gambled on the forehand return and well inside the line. And, you know, the face just says it all. And that face says a fair amount as well. Yeah, it's, you know, really, I think the emotions of five years ago just helped build this moment up to one of the great moments. Even though it wasn't a great final, you put all the pieces together of this saga over the last five years. And this is really one of the great moments in the history of Wimbledon. Well, you were talking earlier about how this will have pleased her fellow professionals as well. And when she left Centre Court after the emotional reunion with 
friends and family, Hannah Mandlikova as well. That and was also, John McEnroe. Yeah, oh, look at that. You know, Johnny Mac who won it three times. And, you know, Betty Stova up there. Betty lost in the finals in 77 to Virginia Wade, and, and Betty lost three finals that